The following is an overview of the Y plan heating system. I have slowed down the various parts. So it is easier to see what is happening. Central heating. We start with setting the room thermostat calling for heat. Now we turn on the central heating switch on the controller. The mid valve motor starts and moves the valve to block the hot water exit. At the mid valve position, SW1 always changes over just ahead of SW2. SW2 starts the circulation pump and boiler. Notice that now this has changed over. The motor is fed from the hot water off switch on the controller. The valve has now blocked port B. And note that the motor has stopped. This is caused by the valve not being able to move any further so the motor stalls. When the room stat is turned off, the pump stops. And the boiler turns off. But the mixing valve stalled motor is still being powered by the hot water off switch. And that is why it gets so hot. It is just a strange feature of this system. Next, we will look at central heating and hot water together. As you can see, the heating and hot water thermostats are calling for heat. Now we select central heating and hot water from the controller. The pump and boiler start. The motor turns and starts to move the valve. At the midpoint position, SW1 changes over just ahead of SW2. But there are no volts on the gray, so the motor stops. So SW2 cannot move, with no volts on the gray, the valve would return to its default position, but SW2 is feeding the motor with pulse DC, via the diode and resistor with about 100 volts, so it keep the valve in the stalled middle position with sufficient power to overcome the return spring tension with a type of magnetic effect. If we now turn off the room thermostat, the volts are removed from the diode and resistor on SW2. The switch, SW1, returns to its default position after being released by the eccentric and motor spindle. SW2 is already at its default as the valve never passed the midpoint. The two resistors fed from orange removes any residue magnetic effect in the motor. Caused by the stalling effect allowing the valve to move smoothly by the spring tension. The valve has returned to its default position and has closed port A, turning off the flow to the radiators. We now turn off at the controller, the heating and hot water, to turn the system off. Next, we will select hot water only. The hot water thermostat is turned on, and the hot water switch at the controller is turned on. The pump and the boiler start. The bleed volts fed to the motor through the resistors has no effect other than removing any residual magnetism. If the valve had been in the middle position, the mixing valve is at its default no volts. If we now turn off the hot water controller, the pump will stop, and the boiler will turn off. That completes the Y plan overview.